Exclusive contract from Felu Novel Network Novel. Start production. Pokemon game. The world is crazy to play, crossing parallel worlds, Chu Nan binds the perfect game production system. Start by redeeming Pokemon for the first animated preview, and then launch the perfect AR game Pokemon Go. A set of AR glasses, Pokeball, and Pokemon guidebook only costs 10,000 yuan. What? Expensive. How could it be? Our motto is. Create happiness with your heart. We have also opened a Daoguan in Longwa district, and as long as you receive 8 badges, you can participate in the S1 league. Do you want to become a Pokemon master? Then come to the Dragon Kingdom. The prize for the first championship is, Master Ball. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. 001, Pokemon game on sale, sold out in 30 seconds. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Shanghai Stock Exchange. In a certain apartment. Chu Nan checked the video he recorded again and found no issues, so he uploaded it to his personal Weibo account. After laying the groundwork for a year, it's time to reap the fruits. He calmed his emotions for a moment and murmured to himself. Unconsciously, I have been in this parallel world for a whole year. As a gaming enthusiast. He found this world really strange. Despite the advanced technology and flourishing development of AR games, the content of the games is extremely poor and uninteresting. He even thinks that the crossfire in his past life is more fun than the hottest games here. Just as Chu Nan was feeling a bit bored. He bound a golden finger called Perfect Game Production System. As the name suggests. This is a system that can perfectly create games, with the ultimate goal of turning Chu Nan into the father of games in this world. As long as he gains popularity, he can exchange various game-related items from the system, such as AR devices, peripheral product production lines, and even offline stores. The system also comes with a beginner gift package. You can create extended anime, animations, or novels related to games to accumulate early popularity. Chu Nan is lucky. The first season of Pokemon, also known as the Muji anime, has been released. After broadcasting. No accidents. Pokemon instantly became popular worldwide, with billions of fans. And the perfect technology company, Limited he founded has also become a globally renowned animation company. However. Those fans are probably going to be dumbfounded today. Because what he wants to do is never animation, but games. Come to my senses. Chu Nan watched as his Weibo messages were surging at a rate of hundreds or even thousands per second, and his lips slightly curved. Public opinion. It's starting to ferment. God TM's top 8, this little intelligence is really poisonous. Does he understand attribute restraint? Every time he sees it, TM is so angry. In a live broadcast room of Do Sha, a beautiful female anchor with a quality appearance was watching the final few episodes of the first season of the animated Pak Amon with a resentful expression on her face. Ha ha ha, Sister Zhou has broken her defense again. At this point, do we have to say, I can do it myself, dot. I don't blame Sister Zhou, because I also broke the defense when I watched it. This little wit is really stupid. Miss Zhou, how much you love Pokemon. You've watched it n times already. The barrage in the live broadcast room refreshes rapidly. Zhou took a few deep breaths, calmed her emotions, and then glanced at the time in the lower right corner. Hmm. It's past 10 o'clock. She raised her eyebrows and lightly clicked the mouse to pause the animation. Then, while opening the Weibo website, he said to the audience in the live broadcast room, Brothers, I won't watch the animation for now. Didn't Perfect Technology say there was something big to announce tonight? I'll go take a look first. I hope it's the news for the second season of Pokemon. 
This first season has been over for a few months now, and even the donkeys in the production team dare not rest like this. Sleeping slot. She suddenly widened her eyes and exhaled a fragrant breath. The audience was also attracted by the content of the Weibo. The one at the top reads. Hello everyone, the anime, Pokemon, produced by our company has been gamified and the gaming equipment will be officially released tonight at 0.00. The selling price is 10,000 renminbi. It includes a pair of AR glasses, a sprite ball, and a sprite guidebook. You can capture and train sprites in the game, as well as engage in battles with other players or NPCs. There are various gameplay options. Our company adheres to the principle of creating happiness with dedication. Striving to recreate everything in the animation, hoping to bring fun to the majority of players. Next. It's a short promotional video, the live broadcast room exploded in an instant. What? Is Pokemon a game or an AR game? Isn't Perfect Entertainment an animation production company? When did it switch careers to gaming? I'm not looking forward to it. You just need an animation company to do animation honestly. Why do you want to play games? That's right, it feels like destroying classics again. Are there any fun AR games these days? I feel nauseous when I see games on the market now. Sister Zhou regained her senses and frowned slightly when she saw these barrage comments. All right, don't spray for now. Let's watch the promotional video first. After speaking, she opened the video below the text. The screen went black, and the first one to sound was a passionate BGM. If there is someone from the same world as Chu Nan, you can definitely hear that this is the music at the beginning of the game version. Then, what appeared in front of Sister Zhou? He is a handsome young man with black hair, fair skin, and looks in his twenties. This young man is wearing a pair of fashionable AR glasses, holding a red and white pock Amon ball in his hand, and looking at the camera with a warm face. Sleeping slot. Sister Zhou's breath suddenly stopped, so handsome. At this point, the young man in the picture spoke up, Hello everyone, this is our first time meeting. I am Chu Nan, the owner and CEO of Perfect Technology Company. Next, I will give you a brief demonstration of our company's heavyweight AR game, Pokemon Go. That's right, this is the first time Chu Nan has appeared in the public eye. He was always behind the scenes before and never showed his face. Sleeping on the sun, handsome. Originally, the boss of Perfect Technology was a handsome little brother. I love him. Young and wealthy, this is. Everyone, look. Sister Zhou has fallen for a flower maniac. Husband. In the live broadcast room, everyone was in chaos. At this moment, Sister Zhou also reacted and her face turned slightly red. She pretended to cough and pretended to be calm, saying, Don't talk nonsense, who's crazy about flowers? Watch the video first. At this point, as Chu Nan reached out and pushed AR's eyes, the video switched to his main perspective, which is the game's visuals. Then, a scene that shocked everyone happened. Chu Nan lifted the elf ball in his hand. Next second. Accompanied by a dazzling glow, an alien with a silver white body, a purple tail and abdomen, and a face shape similar to that of a cat appeared in front of everyone. With a proud and imposing demeanor, one should not be angry and self-righteous. Chao Meng. This is just like the animation. The people in the live broadcast room suddenly had a hint of surprise and enthusiasm in their eyes. This shows the high popularity of this elf. And at this moment, Chao Meng's opponent is, Sakaki, and his Nido King. Chao Meng, use mental strength. Chu Nan issued instructions. Chao Meng's eyes instantly turned purple, and the visible spiritual shock wave fiercely attacked Sakaki. King Nido, destroy the dead light. Sakaki's expression was cold and handsome. Nijia dot. King Nido opened his mouth with a fierce expression, and a huge beam of energy burst out. Boom. 
accompanied by thick smoke. The logo of Pokemon Go appears prominently. There is also a line of text below the video. If you want to learn more about regular content, please purchase the game. Tonight at 0.00, .00 on the Perfect Technology official website, 100,000 copies will be released first, first come, first served. It exploded, the live broadcast room completely exploded. Sleeping slot. This is too short. I haven't had enough of it yet. Isn't this scene too realistic? An epic AAA masterpiece. Why don't I believe it a bit? It's not like it's a divine teaser, isn't it? Did you create special effects? To be honest, if this is a game screen, I'll live stream eat shit. Dot. Joe glanced at the barrage and took a few deep breaths, preparing to calm her emotions. I found that my emotions were still very excited, so I loudly said, Brothers, don't say anything, I want to place an order. If this is true, I'll blow up Chu Nan. Blow up the Pokemon Go. Say it. She ignored some of the things in the live broadcast room. Who are you going to blow up the barrage of bullets? Hastily opened the official website of Perfect Technology. Time passes by minute by second. Soon. There are only ten seconds left until zero. Sister Zhou held her breath. Staring intently at the gray purchase button on the official website. Ten, nine, eight at the moment when the purchase button turned green. Pop. Sister Zhou quickly pressed the mouse. Interface jump, address, phone number, confirm. Payment. Done. The whole journey took less than 30 seconds. Call out. Sister Zhou looked at the computer screen and said, Purchase successful, please be patient and wait for the device to be delivered. Afterwards, I breathed a sigh of relief. Then, she returned to the homepage of the official website. But it was discovered that the original purchase button had now changed to, sold out. Sleeping slot. 30 seconds. 1 million copies sold out. Sister Zhou looked shocked. After realizing this, she couldn't help but secretly feel grateful that her single life of over 20 years was fast enough. If it's one second slower, she may not be able to grab it. In front of the computer desk, Chu Nan looked at the word, sold out, on the screen, with a hint of satisfaction on his face. 30 seconds. Directly complete orders worth 10 billion yuan. This is the result he has laid the groundwork for a year, and of course, if he releases more Pokemon Go gaming devices, this number will definitely rise. Because Pokemon has fans all over the world, and the number has reached billions. Even if it's 2 million, 3 million, or even 10 million copies, he believes they will sell out quickly. But, he has lost his popularity. Exchanging devices requires spending popularity value. And he used most of the popularity and money generated by the animation to make the necessary preliminary layout. For example, the elf centers that are scattered throughout the Dragon Kingdom and have not yet been exposed. That's right, it's the elf center of the real world. He plans to turn Pokemon Go into a true masterpiece, allowing players to enjoy the ultimate experience and immersion. Create happiness with your heart. This is not just talk. Moreover, the demonstration video is just the tip of the iceberg. Tomorrow, those players who receive the equipment will probably be startled, right? Think about it. Chu Nan raised the corner of his mouth. 002, sleeping slot, have I traveled into anime yet? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Once Pokemon Go was released, the news of selling 1 million copies in 30 seconds quickly made it onto the homepage of major games and portal websites. At the same time, it also stimulated all the game companies in Dragon Country. You should know that the price of a set of Pokemon Go is not low, at a whopping 10,000 renminbi. 1 million copies is equivalent to 1 billion. 30 seconds, 10 billion. This terrifying ability to attract money is no wonder other gaming companies are envious. 
so they all expressed their opinions on Weibo. The vast majority of people subtly indicate that perfect technology is a scam and money-grabbing activity by Akira, and the promotional videos cannot be just game visuals. Many anime fans have been deceived. The Goose Factory even stated. We will soon develop a truly cute pet battle development game. Rubbing against the heat openly. But now the majority of netizens are too lazy to pay attention to the Goose Factory. Because. They are all Pokemon fans and have a great longing for the appearance of commanding elf battles in promotional videos. Their requirements are not high either. As long as the game graphics can have 70%, no, or even 5 achievements in promotional videos. I hope perfect technology won't disappoint me. Don't think about it, the visuals can't be the same as advertised. The urination of domestic games is still unclear. The picture doesn't really matter, mainly because I want to raise a Pikachu. Are you sick? Spend 10,000 yuan to buy a Pixel Pet Simulator. You mind me. There has been a heated debate online, with players, fans, sailors invited by major game manufacturers, and unknown passers-by gathering together, causing an explosion in popularity. At the same time, it also provides Chu Nan with a massive popularity value. Players located in the Jiangsu Zhejiang Shanghai region received their gaming equipment in the morning of the same day. Sister Zhou is also one of them. And it's also the earliest batch inside. After starting the live broadcast, she first changed the title of the live room to Pokemon Go Unboxing Review, and then prepared to start unboxing. Moment the number of people in her live broadcast room skyrocketed. 100,000, 1 million, 2 million, and quickly surpassed 10 million. What's your speed, Sister Zhou? It's so fast. Mine won't arrive until tomorrow. Nonsense, Perfect Technology and Sister Zhou are both on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, shipping within the same city. Can this speed not be fast? Ah ah ah, hurry up and open the box. Miss Zhou, hurry up, don't leave any ink on it. Show us the real game footage. The barrage in the live broadcast room began to refresh crazily. Don't rush, right away. After Zhou Jie casually replied, she rubbed her hands and eagerly picked up the scissors, opening the cardboard box in front of her. The first thing that catches the eye is the box containing the glasses that Chu Nan wore in yesterday's promotional video. The appearance is exactly the same, quite fashionable. The packaging is very exquisite. Sister Zhou nodded in satisfaction. Then she picked up the box containing the pocket ball and opened it. Enter the destination. It's a red and white star. Sleeping trough, why is the labor management's pock a mon ball so small? Sister Zhou looked at a fairy ball the size of a lychee in her hand with a bewildered expression. She clearly remembers that in the promotional video, Chu Nan's pock a mon ball was as big as a fist. Is that so? It's really what those people online say. Perfect technology is false advertising, is it deceiving fans for money? She suddenly let out a thud in her heart. 6666, it's indeed a scam, fortunately I didn't buy it. The false promotion is real, this Pokemon ball is completely different from the one in the promotional video. Wait. You said there is no possibility that this Pokemon ball, like in the animation, can grow or shrink. Hush. Sister Zhou, please try pressing the button. Can't it be true? The barrage in the live broadcast room caught Zhou's attention. She suddenly remembered that indeed, the pocket ball in the animation can be zoomed in and out, but. Can it really be done in reality? With a sense of unease. Sister Zhou gently pressed the white button on the elf ball. Next second. Shu. Accompanied by a weak electric current sound. Sister Zhou suddenly noticed the elf ball in her hand, and in an instant, it's really, really bigger. She grew up with a surprised expression on her face and a look of surprise in her eyes. That's amazing. It's really the same as in the animation. 
Sleeping slot. 666666 What about those who just said false advertising? For fans, this Pokemon ball is worth 10,000, okay. Has collectible value. Perfect technology is indeed a conscientious enterprise. By the way, how did this really happen? The barrage instantly fell like snowflakes, making it impossible to see what was being said. Sister Zhou studied for a while again and reluctantly put down the Pokemon ball. Then I picked up the box of the Pokemon guidebook. After opening it, I found that the picture book is the same as in the animation, with an overall red color, which looks very similar to those handheld phones on the market. Didi. Press the power button, accompanied by a soft sound. A picture of a red and white ball appeared on the screen, and then the red and white balls separated. A string of text was displayed. Register as trainer. Yes slash no. Yes sister Zhou trembled her calves with excitement. Excitedly follow the instructions on the manual to start registration. Registration completed, put on AR glasses, and you can start the game. Name. Xiao Zhou Zhou, ID, number 520, Elf Guide. Zero pieces, money. 500 yuan, brothers, look. The number after my ID. Sister Zhou seemed to have noticed something, and a smug expression flashed on her face. She chuckled and said, Do you think that Chu Nan has a crush on me? It's so blatant. Damn it, I'm so shy. Of course, this is just a show effect, she is not so narcissistic. But as expected, the audience in the live broadcast room really complained. The anchor, wake up. Chu Nan has a wealth of at least several hundred billion yuan and is also handsome. Don't dream about it. To be honest, if Sister Zhou is mute, she is still very arrogant. If you also said, if, is it possible? Don't miss spring, start playing games quickly, can't wait. The narcissistic Xiao Zhou is really hammering. Sister Zhou glanced at the actual number of people in the live broadcast room and found that it had reached 10 million. Her heart suddenly burst with joy. Her average number of people on weekdays is estimated to be around a million, and sometimes only a few hundred thousand. Today's unboxing review broke her record. And it's still the kind that far exceeds. Brothers, don't worry, good things naturally have to be kept until the end. Zhou took a deep breath calmed her emotions, and then picked up the last box containing AR glasses. After opening it, the familiar style appeared in front of her. I couldn't wait to put it on and connect my perspective to the live broadcast room. Gently pressed the switch. In an instant, a colorful beam of light flashed. Next second. She suddenly realized that her room had changed. The computer, desk, bed, and everything turned into colorful 3D comics, making her feel like she had traveled through the world of anime. Sleeping slot. Sister Zhou couldn't help but burst out foul language. Did this not appear in the promotional video? Because there is nothing around Chu Nan in the video. Take off your glasses. Everything in front of me has returned to reality. Put it on again. It has become a comic again. I moved my gaze and found that there was no lag at all. Absolutely. And at this moment. The audience who saw the footage in the live broadcast room were also directly stunned. You should know that even the most amazing AR game on the market cannot turn reality into what it looks like in the game. Because this requires extremely abnormal real.time verification ability. There's something about this Pokemon Go. That's amazing. Forgive me for being uneducated, a sentence that goes lying in a slot can travel the world. How did this TM work? I used to think that 10,000 yuan was a bit expensive, but now thinking about it, it's just too much TM value. It's just a 3D version of the anime world. If you don't tell me it's a real dot time calculation, I would have thought it was created by a top artist. Bully. First, there's a Pokemon ball that can grow and shrink, and now there's a real dot time calculation animation screen, it's too strong. 
Sister Zhou probably thought she had traveled. The audience boasted incessantly. Although I haven't seen what the elves look like yet. But even with just these visuals and Pokemon balls, this Pokemon Go is worth buying. And those sailors who have received orders from major game companies, lurking in the live broadcast room, ready to spray at any time, are also speechless. How can this thing be sprayed? There's no spray at all. Safe black technology. At this moment, Sister Zhou suddenly heard a strange sound coming from the restroom. Beiduo. Beiduo. What? Zhou was stunned for a moment, then an excited expression appeared on her face. Is it a Pokemon? She quickly stood up and miraculously walked quickly to the door of the toilet, clack. She opened the door directly. But the next second. Sister Zhou's expression suddenly froze. What appeared before her was indeed a Pokemon. Can, what a bunch of stinky mud. No, why is there stinky mud in my toilet? Beiduo. Stinky mud seemed to like Sister Zhou very much, and after calling out. Surprisingly crawling towards Sister Zhou. Sleeping trough, don't come over. Sister Zhou was so scared that she quickly retreated and instinctively threw out the things in her hand, trying to stop the stinky mud. However, she didn't notice that the ball she threw was a Pokemon ball. After being thrown out, the Pokemon ball magically stopped above the stinky mud, then split apart, and the dazzling light directly enveloped the stinky mud. Immediately, the stinky mud was directly collected into the elf ball. Pop! The Pokemon ball landed on the ground, swaying and flashing red light at the button. After gently shaking it three times, with a soft click, the Pokemon ball stopped shaking. What? Sister Zhou was completely foolish. As a Pokemon fan, she is familiar with the scene before her. I am conquered a stinky mud. Oh, ah, 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 ah. No, no. I don't want stinky mud. I want Pikachu. I want Ibrahimovic. Sister Zhou collapsed and grabbed her hair, shouting wildly. 003 Question Why is there stinky mud in Sister Zhou's house? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. It is impossible for Zhou Jia, the only anchor on the Dou Sha platform, to grab the equipment. As the current leader of Dou Sha, PDD was also fortunate enough to grab one and almost simultaneously started live streaming with Sister Zhou. Yer, this scene is too amazing to post, King. PDD looked at the 3D scene in front of him, like a colorful comic, and kept spitting out quality vocabulary. The audience in the live broadcast room was also amazed. Bully. This scene is simply unbeatable, killing all AR games on the market in seconds. And there are also Pokemon balls that can grow and shrink, and interactive props are also very strong. Just watching horses, fleas, and pigs play, the sense of immersion is overwhelming. The number of people here is even more exaggerated than Zhou Jia. It's already approaching 20 million. However, as a veteran anchor, PDD no longer has many ideas about popularity. He only wants to have fun playing games now. Get started. PDD is twisting its obese body. Excitedly strolled around the house. After not making much discovery, he said, Brothers, the manual says that elves appear randomly, and encountering any elves depends entirely on luck. I'm going out to catch elves. Say it. PDD came downstairs. He just opened the door of the house. I saw a small figure flashed across my eyes, which was entirely yellow and had black stripes on its body. This figure seemed startled by the sound of PDD opening the door and quickly rushed into the nearby corridor, tilting its head and revealing a pair of dripping eyes, looking curiously. Sleeping slot. Pikachu. This TM is Pikachu, right? I'm not dizzy, am I? My young lady's heart. What kind of luck is a horse flea pig? 
just open the door and meet the skin god. Upstairs, this is definitely not Xiaoji's Pikachu, it should just be an ordinary Pikachu. Even an ordinary Pikachu is great, it's so cute, isn't it? It has to be said that as the currently popular number one elf in Pokemon animations, Pikachu has not only 1 billion but also 9 billion fans, which is a dream of 9 billion boys and girls. So when they saw Pikachu, who seemed to exist in reality, the audience in the live broadcast room immediately looked up. PDD pulled out the elf guidebook. Aiming at Pikachu hiding in the hallway. The introduction of Pikachu was instantly realized in the picture book. Just like in the animation. It is also equipped with a voice. Pikachu, Pokemon Mouse, with electrical properties, can raise its tail to feel the surrounding movement. If you casually pull its tail with your hand, it will bite people. Yeah. This is full of empathy. PDD also seemed to feel good luck, smiling smugly and trembling with fat on his face. Then he carefully crouched down and chuckled, Little darling, don't be afraid. Come over to uncle's place quickly. As he spoke, he approached Pikachu. Living like a twisted uncle. Damn it, Ma Flea Pig, you're too TM Ma Flea. I can't bear it. Master, hurry up and collect your powers. I'm about to vomit out the next night's meal. Pikachu, run. There's a pervert here. To be honest, PDD's live streaming performance has always been top dot notch, with over 20 million people directly appearing in the live streaming room. You know, this is the real number of people. Of course, the greatest credit for it. Thanks to the adorable electric mouse in front of us. Watch the ball. After seeing Pikachu relax his guard, PDD threw a Pokemon ball directly at him. Click. Accompanied by a bright light, Pikachu was directly collected into the ball. Shake, shake. PDD and the audience in the live broadcast room were all nervously watching, one, two, three times, click. Accompanied by the elf ball, it stopped shaking. PDD was so excited that he came up with a set of punches and laughed heartily, saying, Wow. Labor and Capital have taken over Pikachu. Labor and Capital are the reincarnation of Xiaoji, the future master of Pokemon. Say it. He eagerly picked up the Poke Ball. Then, following the example of Xiaoji in the animation, he threw the Poke Ball out. Come out, Pikachu. Pop. Accompanied by the bright light, the cute Pikachu appeared in front of the audience in the live broadcast room. Immediately afterwards, a scene that surprised them occurred. After releasing Pikachu, the Pokemon ball unexpectedly returned to its original path and landed towards the PDD under the influence of a reverse thrust. PDD hurriedly caught it and proudly said to the camera, How are you? Have you been so handsome by me? This is what I just saw in the manual. This move is too impressive for TM, and I'm not proficient yet. I'll perform it for you when I become more proficient. Although I felt a bit embarrassed when I received it, there is no doubt that this set of practice moves is indeed quite handsome. The live broadcast room was once again flooded by 666. Next, let's take a look at the data of this Pikachu. PDD pulled out the elf guidebook again. According to the instructions, once you have tamed the elves, you can use the picture book to check their current status and potential. Drop. Pikachu, level. LV5, EXP 125-216, number, number 025, gender. Mail sign, feature. Lightning rod, hidden feature. Pokémon with this feature are not affected by electrical moves. When hit by electrical moves, they increase their special attack by one level. Attribute Electricity, Personality Serious, Attributes Unchanged, Strength Beginner Level, Potential Taoist Level, PS, Potential is temporarily divided into Entry. Level, 1.19 Levels, Elite Level 20.39 levels, Taoist level, 40.59 levels, 
Heavenly King Level, 60.79 Levels, Champion Level, 80.100 Levels, Dot. Skills. Wagging Tail, Electric Shock, Race Value, Click to View, Dot. After a brief understanding of potential differentiation, PDD. Suddenly overjoyed, he said, sleeping in a groove, how could it be at the level of a museum? The lightning rod and TM are hidden features that not only immune to electrical skills, but also enhance special attacks when attacked by electrical skills. Labor and capital, this Pikachu may not be a bit top-notch. Daoguan level is equivalent to the level of the Daoguan master in the animation. He feels very powerful already. No accidents. The bullet screen was instantly flashed with, awesome and, oh Wang. And at this moment. One of the bullet comments caught the attention of PDD. Ma Fli Pig, hurry to Zhou Jie's live broadcast room. She has been taking in the stinky mud in the restroom, and mom is laughing at me. What? PDD blinked his eyes and looked incredulous, brother, don't lie to me. Although Zhou Jie is a bit carefree on weekdays, she still doesn't like dirty elves like stinky mud, right? Isn't Pikachu fragrant? But he just finished speaking. The barrage is starting to refresh again. Ha ha ha, I just came back from Sister Zhou, and she has indeed tamed the stinky mud. No, no, I'm laughing to death. Miss Zhou is indeed a man, but she actually likes stinky mud. It seemed like I was startled and threw the Pokemon ball out, only to accidentally surrender. PDD finally believes it now. After seeing the last barrage, I couldn't help but gloat and say, Yer, this weak sister is also too unlucky, isn't she? Ha ha ha. Brothers, I'll go send a super fire to comfort you. After speaking, I took out my phone and opened Zhou Jie's live broadcast room. That sounds great. Actually, he just wants to show off his Pikachu. In Sister Zhou's live broadcast room. At the moment when stinky mud appeared, the barrage fell like snowflakes. The stinky mud in the sleeping trough is so real. This modeling is so amazing, I don't have any doubts about whether Pokemon Go can become popular now. Perfect technology is amazing. Chu Nan is amazing. Damn it, the more I watch, the more I want to play. When will the second round of release be? Ah. I regret not snatching it. In addition to those who are amazed by the authenticity of the stinky mud, there are also many people who focus on it, by the way, why is there stinky mud in Sister Zhou's restroom? According to the animation settings, most elves choose to live in a place that suits them, while stinky mud loves dirt very much and often appears in dirty places. Upstairs, I advise you to speak up and not talk about the foul smell in Sister Zhou's restroom. Sister Zhou will feel embarrassed. You're holding your breath upstairs. Ha ha ha, I laughed so much that I even managed to accept it. Sister Zhou looked bewildered. Surprisingly, my mother's first elf was stinky mud. The live broadcast room was filled with various jokes. It has to be said. The program effect is a bit explosive. Ah 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 ah. After feeling helpless and furious, Sister Zhou picked up the elf ball on the ground and said tearlessly, My family, my mind is buzzing now. She's not letting out the stinky mud now, not letting it out. At this point, Sister Zhou discovered that PDD had arrived at her live broadcast room. And she also made a super hit, thinking that PDD was coming to comfort her. Visiting the teacher, 55555, my TM mentality has collapsed. I just managed to tame a stinky mud. She tearfully accepted super fire and spoke up. It's okay, the stinky mud is also good. PDD comforted. Dot. Sister Zhou was speechless upon hearing this, but still nodded reluctantly and said, thank you for patronizing the teacher. But soon. PDD revealed his true purpose and said, although stinky mud is good, it still can't compare to my Pikachu, ha ha ha, duh. In the end, he even laughed out a pig's cry. 
What? Sister Zhou is dumbfounded. What? Pikachu. PDD has tamed a Pikachu. She opened PDD's live broadcast room with some disbelief, and then saw the electric mouse that she had been longing for so long. Oh, ah, ah. Sister Zhou's mentality instantly exploded, she slammed the table hard and shouted, Get out of here. She now understands why PDD came over. That's right, it's just mocking and showing off. Ha ha ha, he he. When PDD saw this, he covered his stomach and laughed, almost splitting his breath. Continuing, he said, All right, Sister Zhou, before perfect technology starts selling Pocket Ball, you should cultivate stinky mud well. You can open the picture book to see the qualifications of this stinky mud. He plans to wait for Zhou Jie to see the qualifications of stinky mud before showing her his Pikachu, which has hidden characteristics and potential to reach the level of a Taoist temple. That's right, PDD wants to make another cut. Dot. At this moment, Sister Zhou's eyes were filled with tears. She originally didn't want to pay attention to PDD, but what else can we do if we have already accepted everything? After thinking about it, she pressed the button on the Pokemon ball, released the stinky mud, and then took out the Pokemon Illustrated. Next second. PDD is dumbfounded. 004, The Stinky Mud of Champion Potential PDD Mentality Explodes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Drop Stinky Mud, Level LV5, EXP 150-216, Number, Number 088, Gender Female Sign, Feature Poison Hand, Hidden Feature there is a 30% chance that Pokemon with this feature will poison their opponent when using contact type moves. Attribute Poison, Personality Stubborn, Attack Plus, Special Attack Strength Beginner Level, Potential Champion Level, Skills Clash, Poison Gas, Harden, Genetic Skill Shadow Fist, Grace Value, Click to View, Dot Sleeping slot. PDD looked at the text displayed on the picture book and couldn't help but spit out a fragrance. Champion level. The sticky and smelly mud in front of me has the potential to reach the highest championship level. Boom. Live broadcast room explodes instantly. Damn it, Sister Zhou, this Nima is the Emperor of Europe. Suddenly, the stinky mud caught my eye. What's going on? Hiss, champion level, which means this stinky mud has a chance to become the top tier elf. Ha ha ha, look at the expression on PDD, you're just dumbfounded. Ma Flea Pig originally wanted to show off her Taoist level Pikachu, but Zhou Jie turned out to be a champion level backhand, which was too fast. Sister Zhou regained her senses. After looking at the barrage, she instantly understood why PDD asked her to use a picture book to check the qualifications of Stinky Mud. So he sighed casually and said, Ah, whoring teacher, their Stinky Mud is only at the championship level. Your Pikachu must be above the championship level, right? Sigh. What's going on? Is the highest one the champion? Let's go, let's go. PDD left the live broadcast room in embarrassment. Ha ha ha. Sister Zhou's revenge was avenged, and her mood suddenly changed. She looked at the stinky mud wriggling back and forth on the ground with a silly expression in her eyes, and immediately felt quite pleased. Ah, do you think that stinky mud actually looks quite handsome? She touched her chin and asked the person in the live broadcast room. You're shameless. You are clearly greedy for others' talents. Actually, I also think Stinky Mud looks quite cute. If I had the potential to become a champion-level elf, even if I were a lip fanatic, I would consider myself a beauty. A person cannot, at least should not. 66666, Miss Mizwa is still a bit of that, at least I can't stand it. The barrage in the live broadcast room has become even denser than just now. Most of them are attracted from PDD, hoping to see what champion-level stinky mud looks like. 
Stinky Mud, I will be your trainer in the future, please take care of me. Sister Zhou crouched down and spoke. Originally, she just casually said something and didn't think Stinky Mud would respond. But what surprised her and the audience in the live broadcast room was. After smelling the words, Stinky Mud nodded and wriggled towards Zhou Jie's feet, looking very affectionate. Wow! Can you understand what I'm saying? Zhou Jie's eyes suddenly showed stars and her face was full of disbelief, Beiduo. Stinky Mud nodded obediently. Now. Sister Zhou and the audience in the live broadcast room were all shocked. Surprisingly, there is such high intelligence. If it weren't for being untouchable, Zhou Jie would even think she had truly traveled. Ah, this damn sense of immersion. Sister Zhou sighed and said. Then, she began enthusiastically using various skills on stinky mud. There's nothing to say about slapping, it's just a heavy wave of slapping, and the poisonous gas emits a thick purple smoke. Just looking at it, it feels highly toxic and very permeable. And when the stinky mud uses its hardening skill. Sister Zhou couldn't help but exclaim, this looks so hard, but unfortunately it can't be touched. Suddenly, the barrage in the live broadcast room exploded again. She now feels that Pokemon Go is likely to become another turning point in her career. Because, this game is really great for creating program effects. Finally. It's that genetic skill, Shadow Fist. Stinky Mud, use Shadow Fist. Sister Zhou imitated the image of Chu Nan in the promotional video and calmly issued instructions. Next second. I saw a black energy condensed from the stinky mud on my right hand, and then suddenly shot it towards the air. Boom. Suddenly, black energy enveloped the surroundings. The visual impact far exceeds the skills just tested. Sleeping trough, so handsome. Sister Zhou couldn't hold her tension in an instant and shouted loudly. Beiduo. Stinky mud scratched his head, feeling a bit embarrassed. Let's go, stinky mud. Let's go out and fight monsters to upgrade. We can't waste your championship potential anymore. Zhou chuckled and said. Then, he excitedly left home with the stinky mud. As expected, Pokemon Go exploded. And it's also a big hit. The fairy ball that can grow larger and smaller and automatically return after being thrown, the same fairy atlas as in the game, the scene-like color cartoon, and the lifelike and understandable fairy although it was only the first day, most players only explored the tip of the iceberg. But this doesn't stop them from boasting about Pokemon Go. And those who haven't bought the equipment have also started to crazily ask the people around them, seeing that there are no high price transfers. But unfortunately, they quickly learned about it. The AR glasses and Pokemon guidebook of Pokemon Go are bound to an ID card. That is to say, who bought the device on the official website? So this device can only be used by this person. This can't help but drive those who have money but haven't bought equipment crazy. But at the same time, it also deprives those secondary dealers of the opportunity to make a profit. This was intentional by Chu Nan. Because he doesn't like others to make a fortune out of his things. Currently. Among the top 10 hot searches for Weibo. Eight of them are all related to Pokemon Go. The top ranked game is hashtag Pokemon Go, the second is hashtag champion level stinky mud, the third is hashtag breaking tables immersion, and the fourth is hashtag Pokemon Ball that's right. Sister Zhou's stinky mud is on fire, and it's still the kind that's very hot and also won the second place in the Weibo hot search. This is very normal. Because this is the world's first champion level potential elf. Although my elf potential is only at the elite level, it is the lovely IB, ha ha ha. I also really want a champion level potential elf. I'm envious. When did Sister Zhou become so European? At the scene, Zhou Jia was already desperate at the time, 
but PDD came to show off his Pikachu and finally found out that Zhou Jie's stinky mud had championship potential. Everyone on the spot was foolish. I was also on site, ha ha ha. Now just thinking of PDD's expression makes me laugh until my stomach hurts. At this moment, Principal Wang, as a quality inspector in the Longwe entertainment industry, suddenly at Sister Zhou. Miss Zhou, do you sell your stinky mud for 1000 W? Although it's just a short sentence. But the content contained in this sentence directly ignited Weibo. Yeah. Although AR glasses and picture books are bound to ID cards. But Pokemon balls with elves can be traded. And, this price, sleeping trough, 1000 W. RMB. Is it really fake? A virtual elf is equivalent to a house. Is this the price of Pokemon Go? Dot. Poverty has limited my imagination. Not so. Upstairs, you don't understand. Pokemon Go is definitely going to become popular all over the world. This is the world's first champion level potential elf. Indeed, the world is now paying attention to Pokemon Go, and I think the championship level Stinky Mud is worth 1000 million yuan. The onlookers began to express their opinions one after another. Immediately after, Principal Wang posted another Weibo post. I'm also foolish. Just go to your live broadcast room and ask you, okay. I'm so foolish that I at you on Weibo. The implication is to go directly to the live broadcast room to find Sister Zhou. Once this statement is made, those onlookers who love to join in the fun have opened the Doe Shark live streaming platform one after another. Then a swarm of bees rushed into Zhou Jie's live broadcast room. On the other side, Sister Zhou has just left her home. I was shocked by the scene that appeared before me. The blue sky, various colorful versions of pedestrians without any sense of discord, and occasional sprites suddenly popping up on the roadside, everything seems so real. This is too exaggerated. After taking a deep breath, Sister Zhou sighed. She even feels that the accessory prices for Pokemon Go are too low now. This effect, this experience. Even if it's 100,000 yuan, she thinks it's worth it. How beautiful. Zhou Jie, look. There's an Ibu right in front of you. I can't even catch it. Now everyone only has one Pokemon ball. The immersion of this scene is also too strong. Damn it, when will Perfect Technology start its second round of sales? I can't wait to play. The live broadcast room was filled with exclamation. At this moment, a young man who looked 11 or 12 years old and was wearing a casual T-dot shirt walked over not far away. After taking a glance at the stinky mud around Sister Zhou, she confidently said, Are you a trainer? Are you going to have a battle? Sister Zhou was taken aback for a moment and instinctively said, Little friend, your home is very cramped. I can't believe I bought you such an expensive gaming device. What are you talking about? The young man asked with a slight frown. Suddenly. Sister Zhou seemed to have thought of something and took off her glasses. Sure enough, the boy disappeared before her eyes. Lying trough. Is this NPC? Sister Zhou suddenly felt a surge of goosebumps and got up. Because she just really felt like the person she was talking to was a real person. Absolutely. This AI is too top dot notch, isn't it? Sleeping trough, I just thought it was a real person. Me too. The live broadcast room was once again shocked. With the addition of the previous Pak Amon and the current NPC, the intelligence of Pak Amon Go is also too top dot notch. Sister Zhou put on her glasses again. Hello. The young man hugged his hands and said impatiently, should we fight or not? Just come, I'm afraid you won't succeed. Sister Zhou couldn't have been hesitant and decisively accepted the challenge. Okay. The young man raised his lips and said, you only have one elf, so the rule is 1v1 and the bet is 500 yuan. Is that okay? 
Zhou Jie remembered that the picture book showed her to have exactly 500 yuan, so she nodded in agreement. No problem. She said confidently. I am the chosen child with championship level stinky mud, can I still not beat a little kid? So start. Go ahead, Casey. A hint of pride flashed on the boy's face as he threw the Pokemon ball. 005, stinky mud worth 10 million yuan. Sister Zhou. Not for sale. You are listening at novelfull.audio. The activity here, Sister Zhou, naturally attracted the attention of passers-by around her. At first, those people had some doubts. But seeing the AR glasses on Sister Zhou's face and the Pokémon ball in her hand, most people suddenly realized that she was playing Pokémon Go. So there was a look of envy in their eyes. Then I started filming a short video. The person who didn't know the truth quickly asked. After receiving an answer, I opened my phone and found a video about Pokémon Go. As expected. These people were directly shocked. Zhou Jia also invisibly helped Chu Nan with an advertisement. As the boy ran out of the Pake Ball, a yellow skinned creature with squinting eyes, resembling a fox, appeared in Zhou Jia's line of sight. Casey, Nian Li Bao Kumeng. Sleeping for 18 hours a day, but still able to use superpowers while sleeping. The Elf Illustrated provides an explanation. Superpowers. Sister Zhou's face looked a bit ugly, as a fan of elves, coupled with the protagonist Xiao Zhi often engaging in anti-attribute battles. She also had a great understanding of the restraint relationship of attributes. Super ability to overcome toxins. So, as a poisonous stinky mud, it was restrained by Casey. No wonder the young man in front of me is coming to confront her. TSK. You've been in. The audience in the live broadcast room spoke up one after another. Even passers-by know about attribute restraint, which shows how foolish Xiao Zhi is. It seems that Sister Zhou is going to suffer a lot. Is the first elf battle in life about to be lost? And I still lost to a child, 233333. Yes, the vast majority of people are not optimistic that Zhou Jie can win this battle. Casey, Nianli. The young man arrogantly gave instructions. Next second. Casey slowly opened her eyes, and a deep blue light suddenly appeared. Beiduo. Stinky mud was hit and made a painful sound. Stinky mud. Sister Zhou looked anxious and didn't know what to do for a moment. After all, no matter how much animation is watched, it is completely different from actual battles. I'm sure I'll win. The young man tilted his head slightly and said proudly, the superpower system can defeat the poison system and cause twice the damage. Your stinky mud cannot be a match for Casey. See here. The audience in the live broadcast room said one after another. Sleeping trough, so arrogant. It's over, gee. Ha ha ha, did Joe meet someone who knows how to play at the beginning? Are you giving instructions, Anchor? Is your brain overloaded? Don't daydream, if you keep daydreaming, you'll really lose. At this moment, Sister Zhou had no time to pay attention to the barrage. She looked at the painful stench on her face and felt extremely flustered in her heart. Is it difficult, your first battle will end in failure. Restraint, restraint. Wait. Sister Zhou seemed to have thought of something and her eyes lit up. Stinky mud. Break free and get close to Casey. Beiduo. Upon hearing this, Stinky mud used all her strength to break free from the shackles of her thoughts. Then he charged towards Casey at full throttle. It's useless. The young man hugged his hands and spoke, Casey, use teleportation. His words are not yet finished. Zhou Jia decisively said, Stinky Mud, it's now, use Shadow Fist. That's right. The superpower system is indeed a counter to the poison system. However, her Stinky Mud is inherited from the ghost-style Shadow Fist. 
and the Ghost series. Coincidentally restraining superpowers. Beiduo. I saw a ghostly energy appearing on Stinky Mud's right hand in an instant, accompanied by a punch that hit Casey hard with a pitch black fist. What? The young man was immediately startled. With a pale face, he watched Casey fly out with a punch. As an HP with a race value of 25, Casey is definitely a high attack crispy skin. So when faced with the angry punch of Stinky Mud, coupled with twice the damage, he was knocked unconscious directly. Casey. The boy quickly ran to Casey's side. After realizing that it was just a simple fainting, I breathed a sigh of relief. Continuing. He looked at Zhou Jia with a face full of unwillingness and said, Damn it. I didn't expect your stinky mud to be able to use Shadow Fist. I lost this time. Say it. I handed 500 yuan to Sister Zhou. Ding, your account has received an amount of 500 yuan, and the current balance is 1000 yuan. Although I still don't know what the money is for, Zhou Jie's mood is extremely good now. Speaking of which, she barely managed to defeat her opponent with a reverse attribute, right? Although the move is to restrain the opponent, the elf itself is at a disadvantage. No wonder Xiaoji in the animation is so persistent in anti-attribute battles. Because it's really, it's so great. And in this live broadcast room. As Zhou Jia won the battle, the barrage instantly snowed like snowflakes. Sleeping slot. This damn thing is on fire. There's an internal flavor. Sister Zhou 66666. I forgot about Stinky Mud and Shadow Fist. I also forgot, it seems that Sister Zhou has great potential to be a trainer. Zhou Jia, is this the first anchor to defeat NPC? Yes, the horse flea pig was just invited to battle by an NPC with a big rock snake, and was scared away. It made me laugh to death. Sister Zhou also has time to watch the barrage now. She proudly said, Brothers, have you seen it? This is the strong. At this moment, ten golden rockets floated through the live broadcast room. She was stunned and said, Sigh. Thank you, Principal Wang, for sending me ten super fires. How come Principal Wang has time to watch my live broadcast? Principal Wang. Sister Zhou, do you sell your stinky mud? I'll pay ten million to buy your stinky mud. After finishing, two words were added. Cash. Once this statement is made, the already lively live broadcast room suddenly exploded. Sleeping in bed. Ten million. Cash. Got rich. Miss Joe, your stinky mud is on fire. Miss Joe, don't you know? Your stinky mud has already ranked second on Weibo's hot search. Wang Xiaolong's handwriting is amazing. With just one move, it's worth 10 million. Zhou Jia hesitated slightly and asked, Principal Wang, are you serious? You should know. This is 10 million. You can buy a house in the suburbs of Shanghai now. Serious. Principal Wang seemed somewhat speechless, hitting a few dots. Zhou instinctively glanced at Stinky Mud and noticed that although the other person's eyes were tired at the moment, she quickly showed a silly smile when she looked over. It seems like saying. Master, I didn't embarrass you just now, did I? Sister Zhou's heart seemed to have been hit by something. No further hesitation. She shook her head decisively and said, I'm sorry, Principal Wang. I really like Stinky Mud and I definitely won't sell it. Although the temptation of 10 million cash was indeed great, she still gave up. Okay. Principal Wang was somewhat disappointed. And the audience in the live broadcast room was also somewhat surprised. Sleeping in bed. Sister Zhou is so obsessed with money, how could she resist selling? I've changed my mind. Normally, just one rocket would turn cute, but this time I managed to resist the temptation of 10 million. Changing faces and all that is about the program's effect, Zhou Jia is still quite wealthy, 
okay. No matter how rich, that would be 10 million. I found out, Zhou Jie's love for stinky mud is true. It's her destiny. After rejecting the temptation of 10 million yuan, Sister Zhou's heart suddenly relaxed. Then, she looked at the stinky mud, which was feeling slightly lethargic due to injury. Alas! Who knows what to do if the elf is injured? In the animation, it's going to the elf center, but in reality, where did the elf center come from? He asked the audience is naturally unaware of this, as 99% of people do not even have gaming equipment. At this point, one of the bullet comments caught Joe's attention. A host cell from the neighboring station has also been injured, and I don't know how to treat it. This Pokemon Go shouldn't be a semi-dot-finished product, right? Once this statement is made, originally lurking in Sister Joe's live broadcast room, those Navy soldiers who have received money and don't know how to black Pokemon Go. It was as if a shark had smelled a fishy smell and immediately rushed out. Moment the originally lively live broadcast room. Suddenly, it became a foul atmosphere. Directly sending billions of private messages. Chu Nan opened his Weibo account and looked at the nine-digit number of private messages, with a slight smile on his lips. He was a little proud to see his AR game so popular. Below the promotional video at the top. At this point, there have been billions of reposts, comments have also reached billions, and the number of likes has exceeded billions. Click on the message. The vast majority of them praise Pokemon Go. At the same time, don't forget to ask him when he will start the second release of gaming equipment. There are also many people from other countries among them. Due to the restriction that only people within the Dragon Kingdom can purchase this time, these foreign fans have complained, saying that Chu Nan is not discriminating against foreign fans. Regarding this, Chu Nan can only say that limited equipment will naturally be prioritized for domestic players. Let's wait for those from abroad first. At this point, the content of one of the messages caught his attention. The elf is injured and there is no place to treat it. This game is just a semi-dot-finished product, and the buyers have all been deceived. See here. Chu Nan's mouth curved slightly. Great, finally someone discovered it. Not as he expected. Soon, numerous game media, influencers, and commentators began to post. The discussion revolves around the question of, is Pokemon Go a semi-dot-finished product? This topic. For a while. The original momentum was extremely fierce, and it has already threatened the perfect technology of old game companies such as Goose Factory. Suddenly, it felt like a lone boat in a storm, becoming precarious. And Chu Nan, on the other hand, calmly brewed himself a cup of tea. So. Just let the storm, come a little harder. 006, Semi-Finished Games Sister Zhou changed her face on the spot in Sichuan Opera. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Undoubtedly, this time the impact of public opinion on perfect technology and Chu Nan is particularly fierce. Because no matter which game company, they don't want Pokemon to go viral. It is undeniable that Pokemon Go has the potential to become an excellent game, but perfect technology is too eager for quick success and instant benefits. Is it difficult to make a wound medicine or something? Obviously, this is just a semi-dot-finished game. It's just about making money. This wave directly attracted 10 billion followers, and I feel sorry for those 1 million fans who bought devices. By the way, Online shopping support 7. Day no reason return. The siege of Chu Nan fell instantly. Of course, the vast majority of players still stand on Chu Nan's side and even speak for him. But those naval forces chose to ignore it directly. Regarding this, Chu Nan did not explain. But let public opinion continue to ferment. Sure enough, after discovering that Chu Nan and Perfect Technology were feeling guilty, the companies led by Goose Factory were immediately overjoyed and more certain that they had guessed right. 
Pokemon Go is indeed a semi-dot-finished game, and the healing function of Pokemon is not yet fully developed. So he decisively invested a large sum of money, which also led to a surge in the number of sailors, who could vaguely compete with the huge fan base of Pokemon. This is very exaggerated. Because Pokemon has fans all over the world, with billions of people. This is visible. Goose factories and other enterprises have invested heavily. It's all about wanting to perfect technology. Press and flip the Pokemon go directly to the ground in an immobile state. The underground flow online is surging. As the first Pokemon on the entire network to achieve championship level potential, and also one of the hottest Pokemon anchors currently, Zhou Jia naturally came to the forefront of the controversy. At this point, the number of people in her live broadcast room has reached nearly 25 million, even exceeding PDD. Anchor, this game is unfinished, stop playing. If you continue to live stream, you will be deceiving those fans who have watched your live stream and are preparing to buy games. This is a money scam game. No one really thinks this game is timeless, right? No, no, no. The Navy began to exert great power. And Zhou Jie's fans are naturally not willing to be outdone. Sleeping Trough Where did you get so many sprays? Even if it cannot be treated, the official should be able to fix it soon, right? What's the rush? That's right, anyway, I think this game is top.notch. Perfect technology is already very conscientious, and even unfinished products, I plan to buy them. What's wrong with the unfinished product? Can't I buy it as a viewing game? With just this Pokemon ball, this screen, and NPC's AI, it's completely worth buying, right? Is it difficult for us to play those brainless AR games? The two sides were arguing fiercely. Faced with this situation. Without any hesitation, Zhou Jie stood on the side of Chu Nan, who is perfect technology, and said, let's get out of the water army. Inexplicably, Pokemon Go is a top-dot-level AR game, and even if there are some problems, the official will quickly solve them. Once this statement is made, the Navy immediately aimed their spear at Zhou Jie. TSK TSK, how much did the anchor charge? You shouldn't be a childcare right? The first champion level potential elf on the entire network. Hee <laughs> hee, isn't this a child? What is it? Ha, huh, I don't know what kind of urination the female anchor has yet. Maybe she climbed onto Chu Nan's bed long ago. In the end, he even started using vulgar language. Although Zhou Jie used to be frequently blacklisted by gangsters, this was the first time she had been blacklisted on such a large scale, and her words were even more vulgar. Although she usually airs as a female man. But after all, she is a girl. Suddenly, I couldn't bear it anymore and my eyes turned slightly red. Where's the housing manager? They've all come out to work. Hurry up and seal these fools off. She burst out and cursed loudly. The same thing happened to other anchors as well. However, like Sister Zhou, these anchors also coincidentally stood on the side of perfect technology. Because they all know that Pokemon Go is a good game. I absolutely can't just be ruined by the black spot. However. Their obvious standing in line also puts a lot of pressure on themselves. Especially for big anchors like PDD, they are highly valued. Yer, have these sailors gone crazy? PDD looked at the full screen barrage and said with a headache, could the property management please block all the rhythmic ones. After speaking, he explained to his own fans, these are obviously sailors hired by other game companies, but I cannot go into detail, after all, I am just a small anchor and cannot afford to offend those big companies. Although it was not explicitly stated. But the fans present were very quiet. Goose Factory Besides the Goose Factory, who would be so disgusting to hire so many sailors? Obviously, there's not just a Goose Factory, but there must be one. If I don't play games well, I'll do some messy things. Originally, I was a passerby to Goose Factory, 
but now the road has turned black. I guess it's because Pokemon Go is so popular, I'm jealous. However, the inability to treat elves is indeed a problem, mainly because the authorities are not responding now. Shouldn't that be unexpected? Don't worry, be patient. Let me share some cold knowledge in the front row. Perfect Technology is an animation company. Ha ha ha, as an animation company, being able to be hacked by almost all peers during the first game development is also an achievement. And at this moment, 1000 super rockets suddenly floated in the live broadcast room. Perfect Technology CEO Chu Nan. Thank you for the host's words of justice. As a small gift, I would like to express my gratitude. Regarding the current online issue of what to do if an elf is injured, I will hold a live broadcast at Dosha tonight at 10 o'clock to explain. At that time, the release time of the second batch of game equipment will also be announced. Sleeping Trough My lord! Everyone, quickly play the two characters face. Dot. That's amazing! How much does 1000 rounds of super fire cost? 2 million! Ma Flea Pig, are you still saying you haven't collected any money? I'm really charging now. The live broadcast room exploded instantly. This. PDD was also a bit scared and quickly stood up to thank him, saying, Thank you, thank you. I'm just being honest, I deserve this gift. But before he could finish speaking, he saw a barrage. Don't thank me, Ma Flea Pig. The boss has already left and went to the neighboring Zhou sister's place to brush. There's one more than yours. Ha ha ha, is this the difference between male and female anchors? Don't, the main reason is that sister Zhou has been criticized and cried by Blackie. I guess the big shot is showing mercy and cherishing jade. Can Zhu Chongji also be pitted for his fragrant and precious jade? True love. By the way, didn't anyone notice what the big shot just said? We will explain at 10 p.m. and announce the release time of the second batch of devices. Anyway, I'm prepared to grab it. Just this picture and the Pokemon ball are worth buying. And on the other side. At this moment, Sister Zhou had red eyes and angrily aligned with Heisey, with a fragrant aroma in her mouth. Nervous Bin a group of silly sailors, my TM just likes Pokemon, Go, even unfinished items. I just boast about it. What can you do with me? Shouldn't it be better to go to work and do this disgusting thing of collecting black money all day? Ah, uh, right, right, right. My TM is just looking at Chu Nan's handsome appearance, so I want to stick to him. What do you look like? What's wrong with the female anchor? Does the female anchor eat your rice? Housing manager, hurry up and don't stop working. This is the first time she has been so angry and exchanging views with Blackie. This shows that she has become fond of Pokemon. Although being so irritable may affect her image, she herself doesn't care about her image, otherwise she wouldn't have the nickname, Do Shark Zhu Chongji. Ha ha ha, I'm laughing to death. To be honest, it's the first time I've seen Sister Zhou so fierce. I guess it's exploding with anger. Sister Zhou, are you angry and dizzy? You even said things like wanting to get close to Chu Nan from the bottom of your heart. To be honest, if I were a woman, I would also want to be considerate. The fans in the live broadcast room enjoyed watching it because the program had an explosive effect. But at this moment, suddenly, 1001 super hot flashes flashed through the live broadcast room. Perfect Technology CEO Chu Nan. Don't be so irritable. What? Zhou's expression froze at first, and then it seemed as if she had changed her face in Sichuan Opera. In an instant, I went from being angry to a shy state, with my hands clasped together and placed on my cheek, saying, Thank you, big shot. 1001 Super Hot I will always be your most loyal and loyal fan okay. Whether it's Chu Nan or fans in the live broadcast room, or those sailors. Everyone was shocked by Zhou's face changing at the speed of light. 
666666 sleeping slot, 1001 round super hot. Ha, huh, I'm laughing to death. I just came over from PDD, and the program effect here, Sister Zhou, is really explosive. Is this the legendary Sichuan opera, face changing? I didn't expect Zhou Jia to have this skill. I vomited. Can you speak well, Sister Zhou? Instantly dull and tasteless. By the way, the big shot didn't hear what Zhou Jia said just now and wanted to post backwards. I think I heard it, otherwise I wouldn't have typed a series of ellipses. It's obvious that PDD is the official speaker. Live broadcast at 10 o'clock to explain. On the spot social death. I just want to ask now, why is Zhou Jia here even more popular than PDD? Hush. Shouldn't it be that the big shot really took a liking to Zhou Jia? Boss, don't be deceived. Sister Zhou doesn't deserve you, ah uh, ah. Uh. At this moment, Sister Zhou also realized that she seemed to have said something terrible just now. Her face turned slightly red and she pretended to be calm, saying, Don't worry, big shot. Live streaming at 10 o'clock, right? I will definitely go back and watch it. I will always support Pokemon Go. Perfect Technology CEO Chu Nan. Okay, thank you for your support. Say it. So he left the live broadcast room. Thank you very much for the silly 1000 Fei Lu coin reward from Star X. Regarding updates, I have over 3000 words per chapter, updating 4 chapters a day, and there are still 2 chapters in the evening. 007, Perfect Restoration of Animation, with Essence Scattered Throughout the Dragon Kingdom. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The impact of this public opinion storm is still significant. The hashtag Pokemon Go, which was originally the top trending item on Weibo, has been pushed down and replaced with hashtag Pokemon Go to make money. The comments below are also polarized, with those who stand on the side of Chu Nan and those who criticize Chu Nan each accounting for half. It can be seen from this. How fierce the firepower of the Navy is. But this is exactly what Chu Nan meant, he even wanted to be more fierce. Because. He can turn these negative traffic into positive ones by flipping his hand. These Navy soldiers are making such a fuss now, but they are just advertising him. The only thing that surprised Chu Nan was. Zhou Jia and PDD and other anchors. Surprisingly, he would support Pokemon Go under the pressure of the Navy at such a time. You should know. He has never had any social interaction with these anchors, and helping him speak not only has no benefits, but also can be used as a target by the Navy. After all, these people didn't know that Chu Nan had a backup. So this is undoubtedly giving charcoal in the snow. To repay kindness with love. Chu Nan is naturally willing to give these anchors some gifts. Especially Zhou Jia, he was really amused by that Sichuan opera face changing just now. As for what the other party said wanted to get close to him it should just be the program effect. If you are serious, you will lose. Time is approaching 10 p.m. soon. During this period, the Navy remained active on major gaming websites, forums, and related live streaming rooms. The popularity of Pokemon Go has already been very high, but now it has been tossed and turned by the Navy, almost reaching the level of public awareness. Is this the live broadcast room? Black screen. What's the rush? It's only 9.58 now, there are still 2 minutes left. Good guy, over 20 million people are watching black screens. Do you believe that there will be more people later? Based on the current popularity of Pokemon Go, as long as the big shots start broadcasting, I think this number of people can at least reach 50 million. Indeed, it can be said that the entire network is paying attention now. Including those naval forces. Yeah, who knows how many sailors are lurking in the live broadcast room now. Indeed, there are many sailors in the live broadcast room now. Because they all receive tasks from the wealthy father. 
As long as Chu Nan shows timidity during the live broadcast or admits that Pokemon Go is unfinished. So they can start charging. Time passes by minute by second. As Beijing time approaches 22.00. The originally pitch black live broadcast room suddenly lit up. What appeared in front of everyone was a place similar to an office, with Chu Nan sitting on a chair, adjusting the position of the camera. Husband. I'm going to give you a monkey. How handsome. You never tire of watching. He's even more handsome than a celebrity, a safe treasure boy. At the moment Chu Nan appeared, the live broadcast room froze for three seconds and was quickly overwhelmed by barrage of bullets. The vast majority of them are calling out for their husbands, shouting to give birth to monkeys for them, but. Why are many avatars male? Thinking carefully is extremely frightening. Schwa. Next second. The super fire kept drifting by one after another. The recipients of the gift were Zhou Jia, PDD and other anchors, as well as wealthy individuals such as Principal Wang who came to watch. All right, thank you all. Chu Nan looked at the live broadcast footage and found that there were no issues. He chuckled lightly and said, you don't need to give me a gift anymore. I don't know when my next live broadcast will be. And with the drainage of the superheat. The number of people in the live broadcast room has started to increase crazily, with 30 million to 40 million. Breaking through to 50 million in less than a minute. You should know. This is the actual number of people. Chu Nan's live broadcast directly broke the record of the Dosha platform. And this record is estimated to have been maintained for a long time. 6666. 50 million in an instant, can it break through 100 million? Is this the influence of the big shots? It's too strong. In the past, the total audience of Do Sha was estimated to be only 10 to 20 million. To be honest, I think the Navy also has some credit. Without them, the popularity of Pokemon Go wouldn't be so high. Ha ha ha, Sparrow Food. However, I still hope that the boss can give a response today, asking these sailors to shut up. No, it should be said that they are asking those game companies to shut up. The barrage in the live broadcast room was wildly refreshing, making it impossible to see clearly. To get to the point, the main reason for hosting this live broadcast today is to respond to the current online doubts about what to do if an elf is injured and how to treat it. Chu Nan's mouth curved and said, but before answering this question, what I want to say is. Actually, the comments online are quite accurate. Pokemon Go is indeed an unfinished product. He is ready. Add another flame. Upon hearing this statement. Boom. The water army and people from other game companies in the live broadcast room were instantly boiling. Admitted it. How could you admit it so easily? Ha ha ha, I've already said it's an unfinished product. These brainless fans still don't believe it. That's right, what kind of games can perfect technology create as an animation creator? I was originally hoping for something, but that's all it turned out to be, self-destructing. Directly using these defective products to make money is a financial problem for your company. However, even if you lack money, you can't do this. The live broadcast room was immediately submerged by the Navy. Soon. With the self-explosion of Chu Nan. The number of people in the live broadcast room began to skyrocket, reaching 60 million, 70 million. And finally broke through to 100 million. In addition to Chinese, Barrage also includes English, Japanese, German, Russian obviously. People around the world are paying attention to Pokemon Go. At this moment, everyone gathered here. The Dosha platform also experienced severe lag as a result. Fortunately, the senior management of Dosh Shark installed many new servers when they learned that Chu Nan's evening party would start broadcasting today. So although there were black screens and inability to enter the live broadcast room at the beginning, the problem was quickly resolved and the live broadcast room returned to smooth operation. Perhaps I made a mistake in expressing myself earlier. 
Chu Nan saw that the groundwork was almost complete, so he said, what I mean is that perfect technology will also release the second and third seasons of the animated Pokémon. At that time, new Pokémon will definitely be added to Pokémon Go. Dot. So in my opinion, as long as there are new animations airing, Pokémon Go will always be just an unfinished product. As soon as this sentence is spoken, the Navy in the live broadcast room couldn't help but sneer. Isn't it just updating DLC? What kind of unfinished product is this? According to you, games all over the world are unfinished products. The more you explain, the more guilty you become. Don't be round, you just blew yourself up. Do you still want to be round? It's just a money scam. Can you explain why the elf is injured and cannot be treated? Isn't this game just a defective product? The entire live broadcast room was filled with smoke and smoke. Those Pokémon fans, passers-by, anchor fans, etc. can't stand it anymore. So they all roast. I'm really impressed. Can these black spots shut up? Upstairs, they are not black men, but navy soldiers who do everything for money. How could they possibly shut up? Husband, don't pay attention to them. Big shot, these navy soldiers can spray thousands of sentences from various angles. I'm really drunk. Although these people are speaking for Chu Nan. But to be honest, these words are completely harmless to those sailors. So. Chu Nan is no longer prepared to play tricks. Because selling it again would hurt fans. Alright, now I'll respond to the question about how to treat Pokémon injuries. I saw him slowly stand up. Then he moved the LCD screen behind him, which was covered with a white cloth, under the camera. Then, he slightly raised the corner of his mouth and pulled the white cloth down. What is displayed on the LCD screen is, Dragon Country Map. At this moment. Whether it's Pokémon fans or game company veterans, they all look bewildered. Didn't you say you wanted to respond to the question of how to treat Pokémon injuries? What is the purpose of releasing a map of the Dragon Kingdom? Did you see these red dots? Chu Nan pointed to some of the marked red dots on the map and smiled slightly, these are the things that perfect technology completed in advance before the release of Pokémon Go, and that is. Speaking of which. He deliberately whetted his appetite. Then he continued, Elf Center. Say it. He raised his hand and lightly tapped a red dot located on the Shanghai stock market. This red dot is starting to grow larger. Pudong New Area. Xinjiang Road finally, a building that was almost identical to the Elf Center in the animation appeared in front of everyone in the live broadcast room. The purpose of Perfect Technology Company is to create happiness with dedication. Chu Nan looked at the eerie silence of the live broadcast room, spreading his hands like a mastermind behind the scenes. For me, this is not just a slogan, but something that needs to be put into action. And the Elf Center is the first wave of Perfect Technology's plan. Any trainer who wants to heal elves can go to the Elf Center for treatment, perfectly restoring the game. Of course, at present, perfect technology cannot cover the streets and alleys of the spirit center, so those who are far away can only buy treatment spray in the spirit center through the atlas. However, please rest assured that building an elf center is one of the important strategies for perfect technology. As long as you are a player of Pokemon Go. I promise. One day. The elf center will appear at your doorstep. Say this paragraph. Chu Nan waved his hand to shrink the enlarged Shanghai Stock Exchange Elf Center once again. Immediately, the map of the Dragon Kingdom reappeared. This time everyone's focus is on the densely packed red dots. At first glance. There are two to three hundred of them. Moment the live broadcast room exploded. 008, damn it, what kind of divine game company is this? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Sleeping slot, sleeping slot. It's really fake. Tears in my eyes. Why didn't there be any news before? 
perfect technology is too good at hiding, right? No, aren't you afraid if Pokémon go to the streets, big shot? If they do, wouldn't these Pokémon centers be losing money? Is this the confidence of the big shot? We won't lose. As long as there are fans of our Pokémon, the big shots will definitely not lose money. Isn't this place right next to my house? I remember the bedroom. It used to be surrounded by walls and I couldn't even see what was being built inside. Oh my goodness, it turns out that perfect technology is using a big trick. These sailors have nothing to say now, right? In the live broadcast room, those who support Chu Nan, those who support perfect technology, those who support Pokemon Go, all Gao Chao. They were all shocked by Chu Nan's bold handwriting. Because this is just too exaggerated. Never. No game company has ever done such a thing for a game. These flowers are all real gold and silver. Is perfect technology investing all the money earned from animation? No, that shouldn't be enough either. So, Chu Nan is actually a hidden tycoon from the beginning. And still a super tycoon. At present, Perfect Technology has built elf centers in major first tier, second tier, and third tier cities in Longwa, with a total of 213 centers nationwide. Chu Nan saw the audience's reaction in the live broadcast room and smiled with satisfaction. Next, the focus of Perfect Technology will be on rural areas, and plans to exceed 1,000 elf centers this year. Once this statement is made, the already boiling live broadcast room is like adding fuel to the fire. It's already exploded and can't be further exploded. Then, Chu Nan began to answer questions from the audience. Boss, where is the elf center in Hangzhou? Chu Nan. It's by the West Lake. Where is Beiping? I just want to go and see it right now. Chu Nan. Beiping is a bit off center, located on the Third Ring Road. Damn it, my family is from the countryside. When will the big shot build an elf center next to my house? Ah ah. Chu Nan. It depends on the company's plan. Boss, besides healing elves, is there anything else in the elf center? Chu Nan. You can also purchase Pokemon balls and some props to experience on your own. Mr. Chu, I am a fan of Sakura Country. When will you go to the Sakura Country Kai Elf Center? Chu Nan. For foreign players. Sorry, the company plans to temporarily satisfy players from the Dragon Kingdom. Foreign players can only purchase healing potions and other items through the picture book, or come to the Dragon Kingdom to experience. Boss, when will the Elf Center open? Facing the last question. Chu Nan emphasized, the National Elf Center will open tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., and then operate 24 hours a day with fully intelligent management. As long as you wear the Pokémon Go, you can get Joey's guidance. Yes, those working in the Elf Center are all intelligent AI, so he doesn't have to pay even a penny for manual labor. Sleeping Slot Joey Wife Who's your wife upstairs? Joey is clearly my wife. Opening at 9 o'clock. I'm so excited. By the way, the Joey family in the animation all look the same, do they also look the same in reality? Can't you just go and see for yourself tomorrow and find out? That's right. And in this joyful moment. The unwilling Navy once again spoke up. You opened so many elf centers, aren't you still trying to make money? Tell me, how much does it cost to heal an elf once? 100, 200, 500, by the way, you just said you can still buy Pake Ball. Hee <laughs> hee, no wonder there is only one Pake Ball in the device. How much does a Pake Ball cost? 1000, 2000. Before Chu Nan could reply, the majority of fans became angry. Get lost. Do you just can't see others being good? I'm willing to spend money, can you manage it with TM? From where to which area? Hee <laughs> hee, if your goose factory also works hard to make games, I would be willing to pay for this money. 
That's right, whether it's 100, 1000, or 10,000, I can afford it. I have plenty of money. Can the Navy roll away? They are all now convinced by Chu Nan's plan. Nature will not make anyone question it. Good question. Chu Nan laughed heartily. After calming the fans in the live broadcast room, he said, let's talk about the Pokemon ball first. The price is 200 yuan, and the treatment is free. No matter what injury, it can be cured. Regarding this, all fans of Pokemon Go were immediately surprised. Can you buy a Pokemon ball that can grow or shrink for 200 yuan and return on its own? Is this too cheap? Besides, the treatment is still free. Is perfect technology not planning to make money anymore? Regarding this, Chu Nan said, yes, he really doesn't intend to make money. Because he already has enough money, he can't spend it all in his lifetime. After all, whether it's the Elf Center or other things, he relies on popularity to exchange them, and doesn't spend a penny. So compared to making money, he is more eager for popularity. To obtain popularity more efficiently, players must enjoy the most perfect gaming experience. At this moment, the Navy had nothing to say. 200 yuan. This price is not a big deal. Boss, the price you set is too cheap, it's a loss. At least we need to start at 1000, right? I think 2000 is better, after all, this pocket ball is too handsome. Ha ha ha, that's enough for you too. I've never seen anyone sacrifice their lives to give money to a game company before. I can't help it, perfect technology is so conscientious that I feel a bit embarrassed about it. Plus one, I'm also a bit embarrassed. The elf fans in the live broadcast room all expressed that this price is too low. However, what they didn't expect was, who said I was talking about RMB? Chu Nan laughed heartily, with a slight curve forming at the corner of his mouth. That's right, before answering the question of the Navy, he had already guessed that the audience would say that. These viewers may never have imagined that he was talking about circles, not yuan. Isn't it RMB? Can it be the euro? What do you think? In Dragon Country, you settle in euros. What is that? Hiss. Do you think there's a possibility that what the big shot is actually? Sleeping slot. It shouldn't be the kind I thought, right? Shouldn't this be? Obviously, a clever audience has already guessed. They just don't have much confidence in their guess because. This is really unbelievable, right? It seems that there are still quite a few smart people in the live broadcast room. Chu Nan didn't continue to play tricks and said with a smile, since the Elf Center is a building in the Pokemon world, all the expenses inside should be spent with the money in the Pokemon world, right? And please rest assured that the spirit ball purchased from the spirit center is the same as the one attached to the game equipment before, and there will be no difference. I'll pay 10 for one fake. As soon as this sentence is spoken. The elf fans in the live broadcast room suddenly. Well, they have already raised themselves several times. It has been completely blown dry. But this does not prevent them from feeling excited about it. This. This. Using virtual currency to buy such a awesome Pokemon ball. By the way, I remember the elf guidebook came with 500 yuan, right? That means I can go buy two elf balls tomorrow. What should I do after spending it all? Can I recharge it? For the last question. Chu Nan shook his head and said, recharge. No way. Every Pokemon Go player is a new beginning in the Pokemon world. Krypton Gold. It doesn't exist. If you want to make money, you can choose to go to the Elf Center to take on tasks. The tasks are not difficult, usually taking care of the elves or giving gifts to NPC, and also exercising your body. If you have confidence in yourself, you can also challenge NPC and win to earn money. In short, there are many ways to make money. You should take your time to experience it yourself. 
I'm just responsible for giving you an elf world. If there are guides for everything, then it's boring. For this statement. Those players who originally wanted to earn money all expressed silence. This is really, I can't even give money if I want to, so, when will you start the second round of sales, big shot? And how much are you planning to sell this time? My wallet is already starving. By the way, didn't we mention before that we will announce the release time for the second batch of gaming devices today? I was just so shocked by the big shot that I forgot. Add one. There were too many surprises today. Kneel down and beg the boss to release more equipment this time. If there are too few, I really can't get them. The barrage in the live broadcast room once again drifted wildly like snowflakes. It's almost 12 o'clock already. Chu Nan looked at the time in the bottom right corner of the computer and smiled, time flies so fast. So, before saying goodbye to everyone, let me announce the release time of the second batch of gaming devices. After speaking, he said in the anticipation of billions of elf fans in the live broadcast room, let's talk about the quantity first. The quantity of the second batch is 10 times more than the first batch, which is 10 million copies. As for time. Speaking of which, he blinked at the camera and said, it's officially on sale tonight at exactly 0.00. .00. What? Tonight. Everyone in the live broadcast room was stunned. I looked at the time. Sleeping trough. It's already 23.45. Dog thief. Surprisingly, it's only now. So. A magical scene happened. The live broadcast room, which originally had hundreds of millions of real people, disappeared in just 10 seconds with over 90 million people in an instant. And Chu Nan, also after this magical scene occurred. Selected the next broadcast. 009, the opening of the Elf Center is a bustling scene. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. 10, 9, 8. 3, 2, 1. Dida. At the moment of midnight Beijing time, billions of Pokemon fans around the world were frantically clicking their mouse. After a moment. Ha ha ha. I got it. Damn it. My TM is in beautiful country, the delay is too severe. Served, 10 seconds, this is only 10 seconds. 10 million copies sold out directly. Good guy, it's even more exaggerated than the previous 30 seconds of 1 million copies. I just got stuck for a moment, and when I went in, it was gone. You guys are too wild, aren't you? Those who grab gaming equipment are ecstatic while those who don't get them are disheartened. It has to be said. The second round of release of Pokemon Go has achieved a complete victory. There is naturally a reason why Pokemon Go itself is excellent. But to be honest, a large part of the credit for the popularity and speed of the sales can be attributed to the momentum of those naval forces. Many Pokemon fans even go directly to game manufacturers such as at Goose Factory on Weibo. Express gratitude openly. Of course. At this point, the Goose Factory can only be treated as having no knowledge of anything. As a shrunken goose. It's too heart-wrenching. Soon, major media outlets also began to compete to report. 10 million game devices sold out in 10 seconds, Pokemon, terrifying money-sucking ability. Top-tier AR game. Pokemon Go sweeps the world. The Light of Domestic Games Pokemon Go will become a benchmark for domestic and even global AR games. Big Shot Perfect Technology CEO Chu Nan promises to build at least 1,000 elf centers nationwide this year. Absorbing 100 billion RMB of gold in 10 seconds, the potential of Pokemon Go has shocked the world. Hot Super Hot now the popularity of Pokemon Go, it can be called the number one on the global gaming chart. At this moment, inside a mansion. Chu Nan ignored the 100 billion yuan cash received on his bank card. A glimmer of satisfaction flashed in my eyes as I watched the constant flashes of, 
popularity plus 1060256. Popularity plus 1304665. Popularity plus 1463255. This live broadcast. It can be said to be a great success. Completely promoting the popularity of Pokemon Go to the world. At this point, his popularity balance has reached an astonishing 10 billion. The popularity gained today alone has exceeded the accumulated popularity of the animation broadcast for a year. Get rich. Chu Nan regained his mind and opened the system all. Firstly, introduce the blindfold. It is the Pokemon Taoist Hall with a popularity value of 1 billion. That's right. In addition to constantly laying elf centers in various places and completing the basic plate, he is ready to start his second round of plans. That's to build an elf dojo. One by one, let's exchange for the first rock-style Taoist temple on the Shanghai Stock Exchange first. Chu Nan touched his chin and after considering for a moment, he prepared to preheat the rock art museum first. Wait until the right time. Continue to launch the remaining Taoist temples throughout the country. Finally. Hold the first elf competition. It is foreseeable that. At that time, global elf fans will be crazy about it, and he can also earn massive popularity rewards through it. Would you like to exchange it for a rock art museum? Yes slash no. Yes Chu Nan directly confirmed. Exchange successful, the construction of the Rock Road Museum has begun, located in Pudong New Area. It is expected to be completed in seven days. The construction process will be automatically rationalized. Instantly, the popularity value decreased by 1 billion. However, he did not feel any flesh pain. Because he knows. The initial investment is necessary. When the construction of the dojo is completed, it will inevitably cause a frenzy among Pokemon fans, and he will continuously obtain popularity from it. Next is the Elf Center. The Elf Center is much cheaper than the Elf Dojo, as it can be exchanged for one with only 10 million popularity points, and the construction time is 3 days. After some consideration, Chu Nan first exchanged 200. Spended 2 billion in popularity. With the remaining popularity, he decided to exchange another 2 billion for Pokemon Balls. As a physical item, the Pokemon Ball also costs popularity points, but it is not expensive. Only 2 points of popularity points can be exchanged for one. And the popularity value that each player can generate every day. It's already past 10 o'clock and there won't be any losses. The final popularity value of over 5 billion is not ready for Chu Nan to use, so he will keep it for future exchange for facilities such as the Elf Taoist Hall. The next day. The sky just brightened slightly. In front of a red and white building located in Pudong new area of Shanghai, there is already a long queue. This building is approximately over a thousand square meters long, with white walls and a red top. There is also a prominent symbol of a Pokemon ball. That's right, this is what Chu Nan said about the Elf Center during yesterday's live broadcast. Sure enough, the appearance is the same as in the animation. I'll be seeing Joey soon, so excited. Besides the equipment for treating Pokemon, how many other shops do they seem to have? Do they sell Pokemon balls? It should be, I won one NPC yesterday and earned 500 yuan. I'm going to buy two later. Damn it! I lost yesterday and now I'm penniless. I have to take on a task later to earn some money. The people around began to communicate enthusiastically. However, many people vaguely turned their gaze to the first person in the team during their speech. The first one in the queue is a beautiful female anchor holding a shooting pole, constantly talking to the camera. Yes. It's Sister Zhou. Yesterday, Chu Nan just announced the location of the Elf Center. She just took a taxi here and waited in line all night. Look at the current scene. It has to be said. She still has foresight. If you wait until this morning to come over, heaven knows when you'll have to queue up. Currently, 
in her live broadcast room. There are over 20 million viewers, surpassing the live streaming PDD. Because they all want to see the elf center in Chu Nan Ko that perfectly restores animation. Sleeping slot, this TM team has at least lined up with tens of thousands of people. I originally wanted to go, but seeing so many people. I'll just forget about it. Honestly, by healing potions from the guidebook. It's almost 9 o'clock, I'm looking forward to it. Just woke up, Zhou Jia actually ranks first in the queue. Did she spend money? Sister Zhou has been queuing up until now since midnight last night. True love. Is this a brainless fan? It's too scary. The barrage in the live broadcast room is wildly refreshing. I waited in line all night, didn't I want you to broaden your horizons? A group of heartless people, I'm so tired now. Sister Zhou yawned and looked at the time, only to find that it was already 9.59 minutes. In just a few tens of seconds, the elf center is about to open. Call out. Sister Zhou took a deep breath, calmed down her somewhat excited mood, and secretly counted down to herself, 30. 10, 5. 3, just when Beijing time reached 9.00 minutes and 0 seconds. Drip. Accompanied by a soft noise. Light on. The originally dim elf center suddenly became bright. Especially the red LED pocket ball light badge at the top is I dot catching and I dot catching. Zhou Jie pushed the AR glasses on her nose bridge and eagerly pushed the door. After discovering that it could be pushed, I excitedly entered directly. Continuing. Nine more people followed in afterwards. The remaining people still want to enter. But a gentle female voice suddenly sounded from afar. The remaining trainers, please wait a moment. If it's too crowded, there may be a stampede. Everyone quickly turned their heads to look. Entering the destination is a beautiful woman with pink hair and dressed in nursing attire. The woman was accompanied by a round and chubby Lucky Egg. Lucky, Geely Egg greeted with a smile. Ozzel. Joey. It's exactly the same as in the animation. Geely Eggs are so cute. Indeed, she is a gentle big sister. All the elf fans present stood tall, discussing with surprise on their faces. Ah, uh, yes, I'm Joey. Joey's AI is very high and looks no different from a real person. With a gentle smile, he said, is there anything we need to treat the elves? We need to start quickly and not let other trainers wait too long. Me. Upon hearing this, Sister Zhou quickly paced forward. Then he took out a Pokemon ball filled with stinky mud from his pocket. Miss Joey, my stinky mud was injured in the battle yesterday. Could you please treat it? As she spoke, she carefully scrutinized Joey in front of her, feeling more and more surprised as she looked. This is simply too real. If it weren't for taking off his eyes, Joey in front of him would have disappeared. She even thought that the person standing opposite her was a real person. Stinky mud. No problem. Joey pointed to the tray in front of him and smiled, put the Pokemon ball on it, and wait a few seconds to cure the Pokemon. Good upon hearing this, Sister Zhou placed the elf in the groove. Next second. Accompanied by a pleasant sound, a visible light green light blended into the elf ball. Trainer, your stinky mud has been restored to health. Joey smiled and said. So fast. Zhou blinked her eyes and picked up the Pokemon ball to take a look. After discovering that the stinky mud had indeed recovered, a faint smile appeared on his face. Thank you. She said sincerely. This is what I should do. Joey blinked at Sister Zhou. Where can I buy the Pokemon ball? Sister Zhou asked. Upon hearing this, Joey pointed to two small shops not far away and said, the one on the left sells various props, and the one on the right sells Pokemon balls. Good sister Zhou nodded. Then he walked quickly to the shop selling Pokemon balls. 010, Task. 
Go to the park to solve the mischievous elf. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The person in charge of selling Poké Ball is a refreshing young NPC who is a bit handsome. Of course, in Sister Zhou's opinion. Compared to Chu Nan, it is far inferior. Hello trainer, may I ask if you want to purchase a Pokémon Ball? Young NPC smiled and asked. Mmm. Sister Zhou nodded. The price of the Pokémon Ball is 200 yuan per piece. How many do you want to purchase? Young NPC continued to ask. Hmm. After considering for a moment, Zhou said, buy two first. Good the young man NPC nodded and smiled, a total of 400 yuan. Please align the picture book with the barcode scanner. Similar to scanning code for payment. Sister Zhou has completed the operation very proficiently. The picture book shows. Amount 0 0.400 yuan, current balance of 600 yuan. Then, Zhou Jia saw a hole in the originally flat counter, and two Pokémon balls slowly rose from below. As with the previous game equipment, both of these Poké balls are physical. Carefully pick it up. Sister Zhou couldn't help but show a hint of amazement on her face. Is it really generous to buy this perfect technology with just game currency? As expected. The audience in the live broadcast room couldn't help but start praising this. 66666 Seeing this scene with my own eyes, I still find it unbelievable. Unfortunately, Pokémon Go cannot be redeemed, otherwise I would just buy it for 180. This happens to prove that Pokémon Go is a conscience game, I'm blowing it out. Sister Zhou happily collected the elf ball. Then we arrived at the shop across from us, where we bought elf props. There are many types of props. There are healing potions for elves, priced at 200 yuan, as well as various potions to restore the abnormal state of elves, such as antidotes, anesthetics, etc., priced at 100 yuan. The most expensive among them is a magical item that can revive dying elves. Named Vitality Fragment, the price is, 2000 yuan. How expensive! Sister Zhou widened her eyes. Finally. With the words, poverty, written on her face, she only purchased two bottles of wound medicine worth 200 yuan. I'm so poor, I only have 200 yuan left. Sister Zhou looked at the balance displayed in the picture book and said with a painful expression on her face. Then, as if she had thought of something, her eyes lit up and she said, by the way, didn't Chu Nan say that the elf center can accept missions to earn money? Let me see. She looked around. Quickly discovered a task panel similar to a LCD display screen. It only shows. Task name. Running errands. Task difficulty. F. Task description. Retrieve the healed elves from the trainer and personally deliver them to them. Task deadline. Within one hour after taking on the task. Task reward. 500 yuan. Task name. Pokémon. Task difficulty. D+. Plus, task content. Go to the park in the city center and solve mischievous elves. Target feature. Gold coins. Task deadline. Within two hours after taking on the task. Task reward. 2000 yuan. After half a sound, Sister Zhou finally understood about it. There are various tasks. The simplest task is a running errand, with a difficulty of F. It only requires a simple running errand, similar to express delivery, but the reward is also the lowest, only 500 yuan. The highest reward currently is for a task with a difficulty level of D+. Defeat the troublemaking elves. Due to each person only being able to take on one task at a time, Zhou Jia slightly delayed with full confidence, he took on the D-plus mission called, Troublesome Elf. Regarding this, the live broadcast room was suddenly filled with question marks. Is it the most difficult to come up here? I just love Zhou Jia's obsession with confidence. Isn't running errands good? 
wait for Sister Zhou to be brutally abused. Good guy, you're so confident after winning a primary school student, right? The vast majority of people are not optimistic that Zhou Jia can complete this task. You underestimate me too much. Sister Zhou looked dissatisfied and said, My stinky mud has championship potential, and with the command of my future Pokemon master, it's not easy to defeat an elf without a trainer. Regarding this, the audience in the live broadcast room expressed one after another, it's because of you that the difficulty is so high. Sister Zhou is extremely angry. After being infuriated by incompetence. In order to quickly prove my strength, I slapped the faces of those people in the live broadcast room. She took a taxi directly to the mission location. However, sleeping trough, why are there so many insect type elves here? Sister Zhou looked at the green caterpillars and unicorns crawling all over the trees, and felt goosebumps all over her body. What she is most afraid of is insects. Little girl, what are you saying? An ant who was exercising nearby asked in confusion. No, nothing. Upon hearing the sound, Sister Zhou looked over and noticed the ant leaning on the tree with a green caterpillar at her feet. Her face turned pale and she quickly shook her head. Guri is strange. Auntie glanced suspiciously at Sister Zhou but ignored her. Continue exercising on your own. However, in Sister Zhou's line of sight, the green caterpillar was slowly following the ant's leg, lying down. My scalp is numb. It seems that the green caterpillar really likes this ant. Ha ha ha, is Sister Zhou actually afraid of insects? Sister Zhou's face turned pale with fear. Hush. Sister Zhou decisively withdrew her gaze. Then, carefully avoiding insect spirits, he began searching in the park. Gold coins. What elves are related to gold coins? Sister Zhou pondered deeply. At this moment, a white figure suddenly flashed before her eyes, moving rapidly and disappearing from her sight in the blink of an eye. However, she seemed to vaguely see a glimmer of gold. Is it a task goal? Sister Zhou's eyes lit up and she quickly ran along the direction where the white figure had just disappeared. However, what she didn't notice was. As she delved deeper, there were fewer and fewer people around her. The trees are becoming increasingly dense, and in the end, only faint sunlight shines in. Wokeo, is there such a place in this park in Shanghai? It feels so gloomy. Don't scare people. The trees here are also growing too high. Sister Zhou finally realized and quickly looked around, only to find that there was no one around except for some insect-type elves. She immediately felt a little scared. Well, brothers, I don't think the mission goal is here. Let's withdraw first. She gave a dry laugh and then planned to return the same way. But at this moment, suddenly, a female voice came to mind in my ear. Trainer, are you looking for me? Ah, 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 ah. Sister Zhou was so scared that she jumped up directly. Suddenly turning his head, he saw nothing except for a fleeting white figure. What the hell? Is it a ghost-type elf? How can you still speak? And those viewers in the live broadcast room were also startled just now. But soon my eyes lit up. I'll go, ghost series. And it's also a ghost type that can speak. Can it be a ghost? Sister Zhou's luck is also lacking. Ghosts seem very rare, anyway, no one has encountered them until now. Go up. Sister Zhou, take this ghost see, Gun Ghost is super handsome. The barrage in the live broadcast room is wildly refreshing. Dot. At this moment, Sister Zhou also regained her composure. After thinking for a moment, she shook her head and said, No, it's not ghosts. What I just saw was a white figure, and the task content said that the target's feature is gold coins. Ghosts have nothing to do with gold coins. Since I know it's an elf, there's nothing to be afraid of, of course excluding insect strains. But the one just now should not be a parasite. Think about it. 
she gritted her teeth. Quickly walk towards the place where the white figure has just disappeared. Soon. She saw each other right under a tree. Oh. The white figure stood up and said, somewhat surprised, I didn't scare you away, trainer. You really have a lot of courage. Sister Zhou widened her eyes and appeared in front of her. Surprisingly, it is, meow meow. A talking meow. Is it the one in the animation? At this moment, in the live broadcast room, when I saw meow meow, it exploded directly. Sleeping slot. Meow meow. Is it the meow in the animation? What kind of luck is this, Sister Zhou? No, this meow is a female voice, the one in the animation is a male voice. Indeed. But even if it's not the cat in the animation, the cat in front of me can still speak. Are you playing pranks in the park? Sister Zhou looked at the meow in front of her with bright eyes and asked. She has decided that she must subdue this meow. Because, the talking meow is very likely to be the only one in the entire Pokemon Go. So what? Meow meowed lightly and looked unfriendly. I see, you're here to trouble me. Then don't blame me for being impolite. Say it. It rushed straight toward Sister Zhou. Go ahead, stinky mud. Sister Zhou's heart tightened and she quickly took out the Pokemon ball. Beiduo. Stinky mud appeared in front of Zhou Jia with a lively expression, staring intently at the constantly rushing meow. Stinky mud, slap. Sister Zhou quickly gave the order. The next second, Stinky Mud suddenly lifted its right hand and padded towards Meow Meow. Too slow. Meow Meow sneered and dodged directly. And then, grab. Accompanied by a flash of sharp light. Beiduo. The Stinky Mud emitted a painful scream. 